Hi, my name is Natalie, and this is Natalie Lawyer Chick. I'll be discussing popular topics through a legal lens. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, YouTube. How's it going? My name is Natalie. I hope you're doing well. Today, I have a special treat for you. <laughs> so this is uh, by popular demand in my inbox and my Instagram DMs on Twitter. You guys have tagged me left and right. Judge Middleton has a new video with the same sovereign citizen that I previously reacted to before where he kicked that sovereign citizen off of Zoom. I'll insert a clip here so that you guys can see it. Force against the Constitution yeah. and engages in acts. Yeah, all right, I'm here to your microphone. I don't want to hear this crazy, uh, nonsensical thing. I'm sending you for a Watch, let's see what happens. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, I'll call you by your preferred name, Mr. Marl Bay. Uh, this is Judge Middleton. Can you hear me? Oh, yes, I can. All right. We're waiting just a bit for the prosecutor to log in. Understood. He was with us just a bit ago. He should be right back. Sweet. Mr. Purdue, we are live. Well, even though we're not doing anything here, we're live on YouTube and live on the uh, Zoom platform. As soon as Casey Johnson, the prosecutor, comes in, we'll conduct our business. That's not my name. Well, I know you, you're known as the Secretary of State by your birth name, but you prefer to be known as Samir Siraj Marl Bay. And, uh, I'm a national of Atlanta. I understand. I my nationality. But I thought, did you take an oath to this? Did, did I? uphold the Constitution? Yeah, to uphold the Constitution. Oh, yes. And the treaties. I don't know about treaties. Those are federal. This is state law. I know, I know. This is, I shouldn't even be here. Anything that Judge Middleton said, it's like confirmation bias. Anything that Judge Middleton says is going to confirm, <laughs> absolutely confirm what this guy already believes, which is like total nonsense. And what's crazy is that we're not even in the part of the proceeding. The judge was just exchanging pleasantries with him, but Mr. Maro Bay doesn't even have the ability to engage in a cordial conversation with the judge because he's got this like embedded thing, I'm in court, must sovereign citizen all the way out, you know? And, uh, you know, it just doesn't matter what's necessarily happening. This guy is all about the sovereign citizen doctrine. This, this, I should be somewhere federal. I should be in a federal courtroom. For traffic? You still haven't provided um, any um, delegation of authority order. Well. I shouldn't have to say this, but traffic cases are not in the jurisdiction of federal courts unless a person is traveling commercially. So what's so contradictory about these sovereign citizen arguments is that they say, you cannot, you cannot come after me. You can't stop me. You can't charge me. You can't compel me to come to court. And I don't have to participate in your judicial process because driving is operating a motor vehicle for commercial purposes. And unless I'm operating a vehicle for commercial purposes, I'm not driving and therefore you don't have jurisdiction over me. However, that definition of operating a motor vehicle for commercial purposes comes from the federal law. So that is the only time that the feds have jurisdiction over traffic issues, which is when a person is operating a motor vehicle for commercial purposes. Any other time, and that's most other times, the jurisdiction goes to the state courts, right? They go to the state courts. So operating a motor vehicle, no matter the purpose, is always within the jurisdiction of the state courts. And since you were not operating a motor vehicle for a commercial capacity, you are by default, per your own made up definition of what driving is, within the jurisdiction of the state courts. So no, treaties do not apply to state courts because treaties are between the federal government and other countries. They have no bearing on the local motor vehicle laws of the state. Wait, wait a minute till the prosecutor gets here and you can go through. We've said this stuff on each previous case. I know, and I'm still waiting for my delegation of authority order. What is, I'm still waiting. What is that? What is that? He says these things so calmly. I'm still waiting for my delegation of authority order. 
that has no bearing on a traffic case in a state court, none whatsoever. In this context, it's a complete legal fiction. And also what they're participating right now outside of pleasantries, because what he's trying to do is argue the merits of his case, is he's attempting to have an ex parte conversation with the judge meaning a, a hearing with the judge outside of the opposing counsel, right? And you cannot, or a hearing in the judge's chambers, and you cannot have an ex parte communication with the judge unless opposing counsel or the other party is there. So this is improper. And it's not that Judge Middleton is being rude that he doesn't want to talk to him about it. He's not allowed to talk to him about the merits of the case without the opposing party present. Just like he couldn't talk to the prosecution about the merits of the case, the facts of the case, what, you know, basically what is going to be argued in court, about Mr. Morrow Bay, unless Mr. Morrow Bay is present. So just a little tidbit there. I never got it in the mail. That's Article 3, Section 2. Article 3? You took an oath to this. You know it. Just ignore him. I love it. I should well, even be here. You never got it in the mail because it's not something anyone gets for a case such as this. It, you, you're not going to get it. It's a fiction. You just made it up. Oh, well, I never got bunny slippers in the mail. That has no bearing on whether or not you have to appear for your traffic court case. You could fix that. You could stop driving a damn car. <laughs> you wouldn't keep coming here and you wouldn't have to deal with me. I wouldn't have to deal with you. <laughs> Wait. Is he driving a car right now? <laughs> Judge Middleton! <laughs> Stop driving a damn car! <laughs> He's so funny! He loves his job. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. That was funny. I should well, be here. You could fix that. You could stop driving a damn car. <laughs> and then you wouldn't keep coming here and you wouldn't have to deal with me. I don't have to deal with you. Which would but a driver. Um, but isn't isn't driving a commercial terminology? No. It's in not. Your universe, in your universe, maybe it is. But in this one, uh, it's but covered by Michigan Motor Vehicle Code. So that, what about Black's Law Dictionary? Oh! <laughs> Say Black Law Dictionary one more time. Black Law Dictionary is just that, a dictionary. And the craziest part about sovereign citizens is that they will railroad over you, right? He's a, he's a Moorish American, but whatever. They will railroad over you to try their best to get their arguments in. But these are not properly before the court. The other party is not present. The judge doesn't have to entertain any of this and black law dictionary is just a dictionary it is not controlling on the court right and the current version of black law dictionary defines driving as simply operating a motor vehicle it does not concern only the commercial capacity of operating a motor vehicle does that not well, as far as i know that doesn't control michigan traffic legislation no it doesn't and as far as I know, um, you can't make up rules. Um, That's like the pot calling the kettle black. Because what is he doing here if not making up rules? <laughs> Stop driving. <laughs> to undermine the Constitution. And, and no matter what rules or codes you make up, it, it doesn't supersede the law. Here comes Mr. Johnson. I don't disagree with that. One of us keeps making up rules, but I don't think it's me. Um, uh, I mean, Mr. Johnson? I'm pretty sure it is. All right, well, let me call the case. This is file 21213ST. The actual title on the ticket is People versus Samuel Rufus Perdue. The defendant is here. He prefers to I'm be not. known as Samir Siraj Morrow Bay. I don't think he ever lawfully changed his name. He never do. He goes by that name, and he has every time he's been here. He's charged once again with driving suspended second offense. It's alleged that on or about uh, January 31st, he was operating a vehicle here in St. Joseph County while his license was suspended. Uh, he also got a ticket for speeding, so he tends to go too fast 
Oh, he doesn't have insurance and he doesn't have a license. He has two previous cases. That thing you're holding up is not a license. I could go down, oh, I guess Kinko, Kinko's doesn't exist anymore, does it? I could go down to Staples and get them to laminate anything and I could make up that right there. That is not a Michigan driver's license. That's not any state's driver's license. That's something that you had printed out and laminated your own self and no one is going to recognize it but you and your little friends. <laughs> this is already pending. Uh, 202073 is a driving suspended charge from September 17. You like that one so much. You got another one on November 25th. I think one or both of those cases he was speeding. That's filed 202653. Mr. Morrow Bay has a different view of the law. He wants to represent himself, which I've allowed. And we had agreed to set those two earlier cases for jury trial. Okay. As we discussed earlier, sir, I can't do I can't a jury trial. Myself. Excuse me? I said, I'm sorry, I can't represent myself. I well, am who what, I am. All right, but you don't wish to have a lawyer, is that correct? Oh, no, I don't need one. All right. Well, now you have... They try to redefine everything and use their own jargon for everything. It really is cult-like language. It absolutely is cult-like behavior because you take everything and rename it and try to force people into your own nomenclature. It's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. And so you're like, oh, I can't represent myself. I am who I am. Well, do you have an attorney there? No. Okay, so you're representing yourself then. Your third driving suspended charge. I love and it. And I told you last time, if you did another one of these, I was going to set a bond, but I'm not going to. Let me tell you this right now. Oh, I'm a driver, but not a driver. For yes. the record. If, We're all for the record. Up in this universe. <laughs> um, at any rate, <laughs> you haven't been convicted of anything. You've been accused three times, but you do Bless not you. have lawful authority to drive in Michigan. If you drive again in St. Joe County, I'm gonna set a bond and you'll either post it or sit in jail while we await the ability to try your case. I can only leave you in jail for 28 days. Ooh. But am I understanding once again, sir, you wish to have a jury trial on this matter? For my national peers, because I'm a national of the land, from your national peers? Am I understanding that to mean, because you have the right to a jury of your peers, that you are gonna demand a jury of Moorish Americans, Moorish nationals? That would be so funny to try and enforce that in a, in a trial court, in a jury trial court. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and you still have proven jurisdiction. I challenge jurisdiction um, a long time ago, and it's never been proven, and I'm still waiting. All right. I had that discussion with a guy that was in jail once. I said, well, you're in jail. I guess you're in my jurisdiction. <laughs> Let me tell you this. My jurisdiction is St. Joe County, and stop driving in it. Um, I don't drive. I'm a traveler by law, and I've already I'm... sent you paperwork, but you never responded. Well, because... <laughs> I'm not required to respond no, to it. Not. You've got to. But so you can file stuff with the court. And um, especially if you're a pro se litigant, just sending the court paperwork, they're not required to respond to that or anything. The only thing that the court is res required to respond to is to make orders on motions that are filed. So if you raise motions issues and you ask the court uh, to, or to issue an order, a motion for a bond review, uh, a motion for a new trial, a motion for uh, uh, to enforce discovery. There's all types of motions you can file. And then you give the court the opportunity to rule on your motion through by way of an order. The court does not, that's the only way that the court would respond to you. The court does not engage in a back and forth correspondence with litigants. They don't do that. That is inappropriate because again, that's ex parte conversation. And I've pointed this out in multiple cases. You know you're losing when the other side doesn't have to say anything, right? The, he, Casey Johnson hasn't had to say a word because Mr. Morrow Bay has just been big, digging his own ditch over and over again. 
since in the judicial system we um, define traveling and driving as one of one and the same as long as you're using a motor vehicle in order to travel because we de define that as the same thing he has been repeatedly admitting to the crime on a recorded uh, court hearing over and over and over again so all mr johnson will need to do when the case goes up to a jury trial and if mr johnson is the one to try it is pull all of these up and if one day mr bay decides that he wants to come to his senses and act like a normal person they'll just play him saying i'm not driving i'm traveling i'm traveling and i don't need a driver's license in order to do that and then you're guilty and that's it so it's really not a good idea to represent yourself a skewed view of things if this was this easy everybody would declare themselves their own country and everybody could do whatever they wanted to so, so this rules is only, rules only apply to you uh, no the rest of us yeah, are stuck complying with the law so let's just figure out who the witnesses are and we'll also I, set this well, for jury. casey who have you got for witnesses i'm just second judge i'm sorry 24. casey's been playing tetris this whole time I had his other files open. Um, be here, special appearance, only because I have to. Because if I don't be here, you know. See now, stop interrupting. You know, it's not your turn to talk. The judge is not addressing you anymore. He's speaking to the other count to the counsel on the other side. It's really not appropriate for you to be interrupting him in the middle of him speaking, and it doesn't give you any more standing or make the court take you any more seriously if you don't even have the ability to control yourself and not interrupt the court proceeding. You no, know, you, you're going to see your criminals to come get me if I'm not here. So I'm only here under threat, duress, and coercion. Well, Just to put that sitting, out there. You're sitting in the driver's seat of your car. <laughs> I'm letting you wear your headgear because I think it's part of your beliefs. <laughs> So I'm not going to push it, but you're sitting in the damn driver's seat. Uh, what's the, uh, the witnesses? Uh, Jesse Raymond, Your Honor. That's it. Uh, uh, the police, the, the, the so-called police officer who put... Yes, that would be the only witness that they would need to show that you're driving while suspended or driving without a license. And again, committing the crime. I mean, he's not moving the motor vehicle right now, thankfully. Maybe he's just sitting in there because he doesn't want to be inside his house. But evidence towards the fact that you commit this crime willfully and wantonly and knowingly over and over again is the fact that you're sitting in the driver's seat right now as you're in court for driving while suspended, holding up your fake driver's license. <laughs> it's too good. It writes itself. Like he just, he has given the state everything they need. Pull me over as a witness also. And a certified driving record. Is, isn't that a conflict of interest right there? No. No. He doesn't, well, work for the court. he doesn't work for the court. The court's in the judicial branch. He's in the executive branch. Mm. Plus, you keep driving too fast. So you're a travel. Tra you, get, you get to travel whatever speed you feel like. You don't have to have insurance. And um, you can do what I'm you gonna... want. All right. Well, anyway, I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to set this on the jury list with the other two cases. And let me say this again. If you drive again and you get another citation, I'm going to set a $1,000 cash bond and you can sit in jail. So my strong so advice is to stay out of St. Joseph County. So you do realize you're already driving you there. So I'm going to mute your microphone and uh, do I'll so set this for to a privilege license it and attach a fee to it right you didn't know that right he already muted you i don't make the law i just didn't try to apply it <laughs> all right uh we'll set Stay this for a jury trial uh, the next day your statements and your codes are all not right. the law that's so he keeps leaving and then coming back because the judge is like, I'm muting you. And he's like, so when you come back, you're probably automatically unmuted, I think. And so he keeps trying <laughs> look at Melissa. <laughs> he keeps trying to get himself <laughs> in it no matter what. I'm cracking it up. I think it's so funny. I love the way that the judge handles him. Doesn't allow him to derail everything. Just, you know, we're going to set this in for trial. We're going to set this in for trial. Don't let me catch you. Don't be caught driving again, even though he's driving right there in court. 
argument that has no end. Mm -hmm. we could, if we lived to be 112, we could continue to have this argument. <laughs> he wants a jury trial, he's entitled to have one, and we'll get there when we can get there. All right. Uh, Mr. Kaufman, I'll be with you in just a moment. Oh, good. Oh, Judge Middleton is the best. <laughs> He's so funny. <gasps> He's back! He's frozen. <laughs> Mr. Purdue, you're good to go. We'll set this for jury trial. With your My name is Samir Bay. I thought I already told you that. Sometime, yeah, you told me that. All right, thank you. Well, <laughs> you don't touch. respect the law. You're a criminal. No. <laughs> Never done stand up or improv, I would be so surprised. Or drama club or something. He is hilarious. <laughs> well, one of us is. <laughs> Give this man a TV show. <laughs> Let Judge Middleton retire on like some type of like judge TV show. I bet you he would be get great ratings. He's so funny. Um, <laughs> Mr. Bay, listen, <laughs> it's not gonna work, man. It's not gonna work. Hopefully they don't have like a, a repeat offender for driving while suspended there because in my state they do. And the last I checked, it's been a while since I've done one of those, a driving while suspended all the way through. But the last I checked, it used to be, or maybe it's not anymore, maybe they, was, they changed the law, but it used to be that habitual offenders for driving while suspended, a subsequent offense, I think the third time, could get you three years in jail, three years in prison. Yeah, the maximum used to be one year. And then if you got caught doing it more than three times, you could get three years. The same thing with our DUI statute. So hopefully they don't have something like that there because he is a habitual offender and he is not to be deterred. He doesn't care what anyone has to say. He's going to drive or travel. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you later. Oh, wait, by the way, how could I have forgotten this? Um, so I am going to be doing a live stream tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I may be having on a special guest. Really, really looking forward to it. And um, I am going to be discussing week two. It's like week 20 <laughs> or day 20. But it's really it's really of active trial week two of the Derek Chauvin trial. I have been glued. I've watched every single second of it at every single free moment that I've had. And I think there's a lot of really interesting stuff there. So I look forward to seeing you guys on that live stream tomorrow, Saturday, April 10th, 2021 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> See you then. Bye.